A couple of years ago, I watched a show called Landman uh, that had Billy Bob Thornton in it, and it's a great show. Um, I think it was on Paramount Plus. And I'd certainly recommend watching it if you if you haven't seen it. But there was a scene in that show that really stuck with me, and that scene created a huge uproar and, and a lot of controversy. Uh, when I saw it, it it stuck with me because I thought, well, you know what Billy Bob Thornton is saying, or the characters that he played was saying, is that um, oil is is needed uh, in everything we do every day, and you know it's true. We do need oil, and, and we, it is in everything that we have and everything we use all around us, even the roads we drive on, everything, tires, everything, um, that we can't live without it. We need oil. Um, so the problem isn't, isn't that we should stop drilling. We, should, we need to keep drilling. What we really need to do is stop wasting it and stop burning it, because once you burn oil, it's gone forever and you never can replace it. it there's a, not an infinite, infinite supply. We will run out and, there, and the experts say that we'll run out in five generations or thereabouts if we don't change the way we're doing things. Um, if you don't burn it, there's a, definitely an opportunity to recycle it. And that's not easy to do, but it is better than just burning it and never seeing or never being able to use it again. And so, that is really what we need to put our focus on. The thing that surprises me, getting back to the EV business, is what surprises me is that there's a lot of EV haters out there. There's a lot of people that just don't like EVs and they're dead set against them. And I don't, it's hard for me to make sense of that, why they would feel that way. Uh, because what happens if we, if we, introduce or adopt EVs and we move quickly away from burning uh, fuels that when we have a, a good option, even a better option, um, I'm biased on that because I have an EV, I have a Lucid Air and I just love the car, I love driving it and it's been the most fun car I've ever owned and I grew up with, with muscle cars um, and everything in between. And um, I understand why people like those, but we will run out of, of uh, oil and which means it's going to really hurt um, everything in the future. Uh, it'll, it'll not only raise the, what's left, it'll raise the price to uh, prices that people can't afford to pay, or it will um, just become unavailable. And we depend on it for too many things for that to happen. I, you know, a lot of people hate the mandates. I had a friend tell me, he says, you know, I don't want, people to force me to, to buy something that, you know, mandates, there shouldn't be any mandates on EVs. Well, you know, there's never been a federal mandate. Some of the states have adopted mandates to move away from, from gas and, and diesel. And, and I think that's a good thing I, to do that. Um, but, you know, if you, if you just can't give up your gas car you're, and you don't think you will in 10, 15 years, give up your gas car, well, I, there'll be plenty of, of gas and, I mean, yeah, gas and, and uh, diesel cars around that used market that you'll be able to buy. There won't be new ones anymore, but that's what's happening. And you can fight it all you want, but that's, that is the truth. That's what's going to happen. So we might as well embrace it and not fight it. And it's for, for the good of saving oil for better use than burning it. You know, another thing I hear a lot about EVs is that they're shouldn't be any incentives given, you know, on to EV adoption, you know, that they, there shouldn't be any government money put towards it. Well, hey, for, you know, the oil industry for decades has been getting incentives to, to pump oil, to produce oil. And um, all I think there is that let's look at what we've done for oil and let's just do the same thing for electricity, for, for EVs. Uh, there's going to be a big expense to get the grid in shape, but there are solutions for that too. Uh, there's challenges, but as I've said before, our, uh, humans always find solutions and for every challenge we face. Uh, we always have and I think we always will. Um, I have a lot of faith uh, that ingenuity uh, jumps up when, when a challenge is there and we learn how to step around the challenge. So. I think 
putting incentives into expanding the grid and, and uh, research and development for electricity and EVs is money well spent. And it's going to save uh, long term down the road um, for my kids, grandkids, uh, great grandkids. It's going to save them from, from a real hardship down the road if, if we get away from burning the oil as quickly as we can. We just need to get on a path to use less and most importantly to just stop burning it because uh, once you, like I said, once you burn it, it's gone forever. That's the end of it. Uh, you know, there's many, uh, many other uses for oil um, as far as being recycled. And I think that that's something that uh, incentives to improve recycling or looking how we can reuse products that are made out of oil so we can reuse them instead of uh, burying them is, or being tossed in the garbage. I think that is um, a, a worthy goal for us to spend money on to conserve the oil that's left in the ground. Uh, better efficiency of electricity helps offset demand on the grid. And, and the more we can do to be more efficient with what we use, obviously, um, in our home heating and cooling and appliances and all of that, is certainly going to save um, the oil for future generations. So the demand is increasing um, with the build out of data centers and AI and all those things are really concerning too because uh, between AI and cars and everything else, there is a lot of demand on the electrical grid. But again, we run out of oil, it's gone and that's it. And we just can't afford to let that happen. We need to save the oil for better use. Uh, solar, wind, batteries, all those things will help us meet that demand as we get moved down the road. Um, we should not stop drilling for oil. I, you know, I, people say, you know, we got to stop drilling. Well, we need, we need the oil. We shouldn't stop drilling. We need, we need to keep searching for new sources of oil. It's getting harder and harder to find it, more and more expensive to extract it when they do find it. And we need to, um, to continue uh, pulling oil out of the ground and doing our very best to make sure we don't waste it in the process. So anyway, I, you know, this is a, I know a, a subject with the EV haters. Um, I, I hope that you'll come around and quit hating EVs because, you know, whether somebody buys an EV uh, or for whatever reason they buy an EV, whether it's because they want to save the planet or try to save the planet or do their part to save the planet, or whether they're actually just enjoying driving an EV, um, you know, they are helping conserve the oil for future. And I hope that um, everybody will uh, move faster than slower towards EV adoption. But I know, being realistic, that that probably is overly optimistic that it'll happen uh, in the next five years, but in, in the next 10, I think it will, next 15 for sure. And I think that's a, a great thing for everybody. So anyway, I hope that you will um, post your comments down below. I'm, I'm I, uh, curious what you have to say about this. If you're an EV hater, you know, I see a lot of the comments, people clearly, some people just hate EVs and, and that's your right to hate EVs, but I think you should maybe step back and look at this from a different angle, and maybe you won't hate so much. But I hope you'll, um, if you have comments, post them below, and uh, I hope that you will uh, press the like button, thumbs up button, if you if you felt this video was valuable, and if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm focused on subjects like this, and uh, I hope that you'll come back and see me again soon. Thank you very much for joining me.